Hello everybody. Um, today I am going to be remaking a video that I've made before. It's uploading or learning how to upload a UGC. The last video I made was a bit, um, well, to be honest, it wasn't the best. I had a very horrible computer, um, so it was very laggy. But now things are a bit different. I finally purchased a new computer a few months ago. Um, and we're gonna be just uh, redoing everything basically. So if you're already at the uploading stage, you probably uh, know a decent bit about uh, UGC, hopefully. So let's just import our model into studio. So you're gonna wanna go to home, import 3D, find your file all right and uh when you import it this pop-up will show up this preview page if it is gray i'll show you how to fix that most times this should be uh colored so your texture should be already applied but if it does this i'll just show you how to fix that all right so as you can see our little model here is imported. You're going to want to click on the down arrow in the explore tab. Press default. Down here in properties, you're going to want to find the texture ID. As you can see, it's blank. So we're going to click here on this empty, empty box. You're going to want to press add image, choose file, and look through all your files for your texture. All right. Then you're going to want to double click that press create and texture should apply perfect now um, you're gonna want to add a rig into studio so you're gonna want to press avatar then character and then a block avatar all right now you're gonna want to just place your model um, however you're gonna want it in your uh, However, you're going to want it as your uh, UGC, if that makes sense. I don't make too much sense these days, but uh, basically just uh, place it where you want it on the body. All right. Just, uh, this is not mine. This is a friend's that wanted me to check how it looks. So I'm just using that at the moment. Duplicate your uh, rig. And then go to plugins. Now, if you've done this before, you know you need two plugins to actually set up your UGC. First one is the Asset Creator plugin. So, if you don't have it, I will leave it in the description. Alright, I'll also leave the other one in the description. I'll leave anything you need in the description, actually. So, just once you're here, press Accessory, Next, press on your model next then the rig next um, it's already selected the correct format we want it's a hat accessory so you're gonna press next if you do end up doing another type of VGC body back is for back accessories you know hair um, I don't even know the rest I've never done anything else body front is probably here you know, just uh, you'll you'll figure it out. It'll give you an error if you do select the wrong one. So you're just gonna have to redo this process until you find the right one. But yeah, then you're gonna click classic, next, 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 and it should get duplicated up here. Now, what you're gonna want to do is at the very top of your workspace, a default accessory should appear. You're gonna want to drag this on top of your new rig and boom it should automatically get placed here now you're gonna want to get your UGC thumbnail plugin and just um, set the camera how you want people to view this on the front page we're gonna press accept once you do that and that's basically it for that now 
you're gonna want to right click on default accessory go to save and export then press save to Roblox once you do that this new page should appear you're gonna want to name it put a description press avatar item then choose the type of accessory this is so we're gonna want to scroll down press hat accessory and as you can see it says validation succeeded so that's good that means nothing's wrong with it then you can also upload it under a group if you want so just the under the creator tab select the group you want it under or you can place it under your own profile either or now clearly you can see I don't have enough robux to upload it but you get it name description what I just told you then press submit all right once you press submit you're gonna want to go to the Roblox website go to the create tab then depending on where you published the actual item so if you press um, published it under your profile you're just gonna want to leave that alone go to creations avatar items accessories and then had accessories and it should appear right here okay it's probably not gonna have a thumbnail Roblox takes like a few minutes to verify your item so once Roblox verifies your item you can then um, pay the next fee which I'll show you real quick all right so if you published it under a group just go to the group of course creations again avatar items accessories go to hats or not I guess this doesn't want to work all right then you're just gonna want to click on the item once you can see this uh, logo here all right you're gonna click on it you're not gonna want to change anything you're just gonna scroll all the way down it's gonna say published for a thousand thousand five hundred robux depends on what the item is you're just gonna publish everything should already be set unless you wanted to make it a limited or anything else but if you just wanted to go on the marketplace for everybody to buy you're just gonna scroll all the way down and press submit or whatever I don't know I haven't done this in a while but you're just gonna pay the extra fee and boom you're done set it should appear on your in your inventory and yeah pretty much it um yeah thanks for watching uh hopefully y'all uh know what i just said i could be doing this for no reason <laughs> but if you have made it this far thank you very much i'm gonna try to redo all the old videos because they are all pretty bad Maybe they're better than what I'm making right now. It's whatever. Uh, thanks, like, sub, comment if I did anything helpful. And yeah, peace.